guys. It is a beautiful day in Sitka and I thought I would take this opportunity to get my paddle boards, inflatable paddle boards blown up for the season. We are lucky to enough have access to water right down the street from our house. Um, it's part of our neighborhood. We all have access to a like public access line that goes straight down to the water into the ocean and there's a really pretty little bay and it kind of wraps around these little private islands and it's just really gorgeous. And I am going to get together with a friend and we're gonna go for a little paddle today. But first we need to get our equipment all ready to go for the season. So let's uh, get that going. Some sub paddleboard essentials would be some waterproof cases for our phones so that you can take pictures and have a good time. And then I have um, two waistband life jackets and they work so awesome. So these are two different brands. This is the Onyx one and this is Mustang and um, they just wrap around your waist and then you have these pull cords and you just basically pull them and they have little CO2 cartridges in them um, that just expand into a life raft. Now they are rated for a certain weight capacity. So user weight and then they have a chest and waist size. So you do have to pay attention to them. I know they make different sizes of them. So um, just little CO2 cartridges and it's really nice because then when you're paddling, you don't have stuff around your chest and you're not like rubbing on a life jacket. Um, and it just gives you lots more freedom and flexibility when you're getting up and down and stuff like that. So waistband, uh, you know, life jackets and waterproof phone cases, essential. I have two different brands of SUPS. I've ordered both of them off of Amazon over the past couple of years. They come with these backpacks that you can fit all of your supplies in, which is great. Got our paddles. They each come with a pump. Got your fin. I usually roll them out, get them pumped up, and then add the fins on later just because the fins are plastic and they're, mine are a little bit banged up just from hitting rocks and stuff. So I try to be as protective as possible. The nice thing about the Rock brand is, or the ROC brand, however it's pronounced, is that it comes with an additional paddle so that you can put it as a kayak attachment. So if you like to sit um, on your pedal board and use it like a, you know, set upon kayak, you can do that. Now, if you're not familiar with SUPS or inflatable SUPS, they do come with a wristband um, and or a wrist or an ankle thing so that they're attached to you. And they also come with a patch kit, which is important to have on you. Um, they come in all different shapes and sizes and lengths. So just keep that in mind. Okay, now the worst part of an inflatable pedalboard is just pumping them up. And they actually pump up like the bulk amount pretty fast. But the last little bit to get it up to the high PSI. So this one is a 15 PSI max. Once you get to 10 PSI, it is so hard to get it the rest of the way. You just have to keep working at it. So we're just going to go for it. Can I roll the desk? <laughs> if this isn't the most impressive thing that you've said today, put a comment down below. And I'd like to know what beats it. <laughs> okay, I've got the first one up to 10 PSI. Feels solid. I like to get them up to 10 PSI. That's like my preference. 12 PSI is good too. You definitely want it over 5 PSI. That's like way too low. It's too squishy when you put your weight on it when you stand. If you're seated or kneeling, the PSI can be lower. 
But if you're going to stand when you paddle, you definitely want to have it a little bit higher so it feels more like a sturdy board, like a true fiberglass paddle board. These fins just basically slide in and then like this one twists in, this one kind of pops in. So you just need to pay attention to what you have. Um, so this one is for the rock. Oops, wrong way. Slide it all the way back. And then there's this little pin, which basically just, oops, locks it into place. Now it's good. And then on our, I think it's called a free form or serene life. No, free flow. This one, pop it in, slide it board, pop it down, and then you just twist this to lock it in. Last step is just to put together our paddles. Free flow. These just lock in with a simple push pin, pop it in. These are adjustable with this little lift here. You can slide it out. They do have height measurements. Same thing with the rock or ROC. I'm sorry, honestly, I don't know. Push pin, slide it in, lock it in place. And again, open and close, adjustable. This one also has height. So they say that your SUP paddle, I think it's supposed to be like six inch, six to 10 inches, maybe something like that, five to 10 inches. I'm not exactly sure. Um, so I usually bring it up to my face, which is at the lowest rank. And then I lift it up just till about, I'm usually at like 71 or 72 and I'm 5'5". Five five. So like this is good. And then the reason that you do that is because when you push down into the water, you want your entire paddle to go into the ocean or the lake um, because you don't want to just be putting only the tip of your paddle in and you don't want to be coming too high up on your bar. So once you get in the water, you can kind of like readjust. So when you paddle and dive down and push back, you just make sure that your entire paddle is utilizing its full. Okay, so I'm gonna go set these aside on our little kayak rack and wait till my friend gets here and then let's go for a little cruise around the bay. First paddleboard of the season. <laughs> Wave hi. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Aaron, the kitty is coming for you. so warm They always do. They're, you're like the cat whisperer. <laughs> kitty, do you want to go on the paddle board? Are you coming for some pets, kitty? Hi. Oh, you look like grayling.